Hey everyone, welcome to back to Dino Boy Gaming and Reviews, aka Jacob Thompson 30 on TikTok. And here we have an, a figure I have been anticipating since I bought it. The Haya Toys Translucent Heat Ray Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Freaking Kong. This is a figure I have wanted for ages. I've never owned owned any of the NECA Godzillas. None of them. And I mean none of the NECA Godzillas. That may seem like an understatement to you, to you guys, but I mean that. I have never owned one. And I have a Godzilla figure in my presence right now, and I am loving it. Boy, does it feel good to have this. <sighs> I am losing my marbles. But anyway, here is the bomb. Here's the packaging. You have Godzilla looking freaking awesome. You have exquisite basic. Well, you can't see that, but you have exquisite basic. Uh, you have exquisite basic series, Godzilla versus Kong. Down here it says what the figure, what the figure is. Heat Ray Godzilla translucent version. I don't have the original, but I plan to get the pre-evolved Godzilla eventually. Eventually. Because it can't comes on the on a different date than the uh, other one. I do hope to get the original. Now, if I'm reviewing this one, I sadly will not review the original the well the original mold of that this figure is based on, which is the Godzilla vs Kong one. But I will not also be reviewing the Godzilla original version. Of this figure, which is a repaint of the... Okay, let me just rephrase that again. The pre-evolved Godzilla is a... Is a remold slash recolor of... The Godzilla vs. Kong, but the 2019 version. So, the 2019 Godzilla, basically. You know. You know. This guy. And yes, I have this figure. Will be a retro review. I will be doing it very soon. And I will compare this... This Godzilla... To this one. See if Jack Specific... See if Hyatt Toys has done better than Jack Specific. And also I will... Put this alongside Playmates as well. Because I didn't like what they did with Ghidorah. Now, there are some things with the Haya Ghidorah I am still uh have I still have problems with. Ahem <clears throat> Haya not having the ability to rip Kevin's head off. As in it being like a lock in there. It being like a spring pin lock. Some of those Godzilla collectors out there will know what I'm talking about. It's like a little... It's like... It's like a... A little lock symbol on the side of a toy. You press it to red to lock it, and then you press it to green to unlock it. But anyway, I'm just ranting. Let's get into the figure. Oh yeah, I didn't fully show the box. Show up the box. So, here's uh, Godzilla looking awesome. Which was basic Godzilla vs. Kong. Godzilla Heat Ray Godzilla translucent version. You have Godzilla vs. Kong up here. It might might be a bit cut off from the screen. And you have Godzilla also right here looking amazing. They have all their stuff, all the legal mumbo jumbo. And then you have another image of Godzilla down here. Now Ugh. 
And now my last figure, which was the King Kong, went, well, I can't really show footage of that, can I now? Went sort of like, you know, you know, it was stupid, basically. Here is, in my opinion, my favorite figure. Now, you may say, oh, why is it your favorite figure? Well, it comes with an atomic breath piece. Why? Now, no, now. Oh. Wait, that's weird. With the King Kong, I had to take tape off. Oh, I think I, I probably know why they did that with the King Kong. That's so cool. Here. Maybe I'll have to take tape off back here, maybe? Oops. I nudged the screen. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I have to. Let me just sit him down there. And yes, I am looking to see if I can get a better setup for my reviews. Let me just get this plastic out of the way. Okay, so, here's... I'm making a mess everywhere. Ugh. So. Oh. Sit his gloriousness down. I am sweating in anticipation because I love this thing. Here, let me... Let's not break it, but let me just, you know, do some... Ooh, wait a minute. They're loosening on their own. I don't have to do anything. I'm, I know I'm spoiling articulation, but I just love this. Ha 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 ha. Look at this awesomeness. Blueberry, blueberry lizard. <laughs> Here is Godzilla in all of his splendor glory. He is a bit tall, but he's not as tall as that guy over there. He is not as tall as him. <sighs> I need like, a part separator. If any of you guys have a part separator, please send it to me. I'm I'm kidding, by the way. I am joking. Anyone who watches this video, I am joking. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, there's a bit of paint chip action going on there. Eh. Can I even fit that? There we go. <laughs> okay. So, let me just set all these parts down right here. Let me just put these accessories off to the side. Here is Godzilla in all of his tent splendor and glory. Oh, oh, wait. I thought that was a thing. I thought that was a thing there. Like a piece of paint that got pulled off when I pulled him out of the box. Now... I'm going to try to be careful with it now. Ow. I'm gonna, by the way, if I ever start bleeding during this... I have a thing where my skin will rip on certain... Not on certain sharp things. Just on, you know, if I'm working on something too hard... I'm just loosening, I'm loosening his joints up so I can get it, you know, so I can actually pose it. Because the base of the tail, the base of the tail does nothing. Woof. It's just to get though, get him in those deeper angles will be way harder to do than you think. Look at this. Just look at this. <laughs> Thank you.
This is, a, now, this is not the Godzilla. Now, I will be reviewing another version of this guy when the year comes around. <sighs> yes, I have another review of this Godzilla on the docket. It's another interpretation of this character that I really want to review. Yeah. It is the Go Hiya Toys Godzilla 2014. I am still waiting for that figure. And I will heed the day I get that figure. Because I, me, Dino Boy, is, uh... For one, for one thing, I love G14. G14, if I'm not mistaken, was the literal... Best Godzilla to ever come out. That film scared the literal crap out of me. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to swear anymore. Like, look at this. And yes, I am having to hold his shoulders and roll them around. You kind of have to do the loosen them up. Now, I could take a hairdryer and, you know, do it that way, but that pose... Is, okay, with a hairdryer on the f on a figure like this, you want to be careful. Because with the King Kong, I was going to use a hairdryer, but after I subsequently broke the leg of the first King Kong figure from Hyatt, I bought... That my, not my grandparent bought me. But this figure is literally, like... The best thing I've ever had. Like, I love this thing too much. Now. His articulation. His arms are on. Swivels. And hinges. But. This arm go. Can't go. Can, these arms can go a full 360. Now I'm not going to force the legs. But the legs they cannot. Well. This leg can do a 360, while it's the other one, I don't want to force it. Yeah. This leg, not so much. This leg doesn't budge. This one does. And a spread, has a little bit of a spread. Knees move up. Feet sort of move up, kind of. And... <laughs> And there is a, if I can, let me wiggle, 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 <sighs> There is a bit of a waist swivel, but the waist swivel is kind of compromised due to the spikes on his back. The jaw moves and the tongue, and it has an articulating tongue. His head's on a head's on a ball joint suit on a and a four layer on a quadru quadruple layer dumbbell joint. It's on a dumbbell joint, kind of like NECA or not NECA. SH Monster Arts, like SH Monster Arts. His head can move, can't move down very far, but it can move. It can move up due to the atomic breath piece. And I will show that to you right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this part, his head off, like so. You're going to grab this alternate head. And this alternate neck piece. You're going to slide. You're going to push that ball joint as... Okay, you're going to push that ball joint up as far as it can go. Then you're going to take the head and... S properly squeeze it on there. I've seen Jobby the Hong review this. Shout out to you, my boy. My reviewing compadre. Okay, I think that's in there as tight as I can go because I don't want to move it anymore. But, yeah. Now, I wish that they did have it where you can make him do that. Make him shoot his atomic breath forward, but nah. And then you can take his atomic breath piece, grab his head, and then you can 
shoot that in there. I know people are probably like cringing right now after I just made him deep throat that. Now his now his back spikes they don't move up as far as the 2019 version, but that's okay. That is okay with me because this thing is freaking cool. That's that's the, that's my problem with this figure. Is his head, is his new is his alternate head will have a chance to pop off if you're not careful. It's supposed to be like this. By the way, if you're interested to know, interested in the know on how this on how it works, is I don't want to break it. Is what I don't want to do. Hey, I'm having to pull it off screen for a minute. Okay, so go, geez, you're gonna have a go necklace for a second. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, ignore the horrific sight you're seeing right now of go of Godzilla being necklace. Yeah, I had to do that to him. I had to make him necklace, by the way, <laughs> because this neck piece doesn't want to go on. Now, does that stop it from being able to do what it's meant to do? No, it don't. But it's just that this dumbbell joint... Okay. For one, Haya, if you're gonna do an If you're gonna give a Godzilla something like this... Ignore him headless, by the way. Ouch. It smacked the, the, the zit on my head. Ow. On my forehead. Ouch. It hurt. If you're going to do a atomic breath going up in the air neck piece to make that pose happen, I recommend making this two parts, two pieces. Just making this one all one piece and making the bottom all one piece. So it makes it easier for you to slip the head on. <sighs> Because, see, look, I'm having to pull it off screen sometimes just to force this on. Now, yes, maybe some people may scream at me in the comments and say, Why are you doing that? You'll break the head, the ball joint. Well, it's because his neck doesn't want to stay put. I think I got it on there. Nope. It just popped off. See? That's another problem with this figure. Is that his alternate head. See? Ugh. See, look. See? 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 See, I told you. This alternate head will not grip into that hole. That's why I kind of did the whole th that. That's why I did that. That's why I went with this. Because it grips the ball joint better. Now, if I wanted to, Yes, I could get it into that hole. But I have to point it down at that. Wait, I have to point it down, don't I? Yeah, I do. I, have, I forgot. I have to point it down. I made a mistake. I'm in there. But if you guys... <sighs> I'm trying not to break the neck joint is what I'm trying not to do. See? 
There we go. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it. Because that neck, that part right there will not stay in. Will not stay on. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone, I am back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off. I'm going to raise the brightness on my parents' phone. I'm using my parents' phone for this. I'm going to turn the lights off with this light on. And put the spines behind it. L look at that. Just look at that. Now you guys can't really see that, but... I'll, I'll I'll point it this way. See, and and certain parts of this figure is translucent, so the knees are translucent. See, everything down to the spikes are translucent. It might be dark for a second. There we go. And B B T W or B T W be right back. Overall, this figure is an amazing figure. I love it to death. It's like like now I want to get the other versions. I want to get, like, 2019, Evolved, 20, uh, 2020, 20, not 2024. Yeah, that's pre-Evolved and Evolved. <laughs> and I want to get some of the other Godzillas and stuff. Of this Godzilla. Because this one... This is my first figure of Godzilla. Well, not my first, first figure in quotations. <clears throat> this is my first high artic highly articulated Godzilla figure I've ever owned. And it is the best one out of them all. Like, Haya, if you watch most of these YouTubers, my videos might be harder to find because they're not... For everyone, they aren't. They can't go out to everyone yet. But if you made this, make a translucent, supercharged Godzilla evolved, please. I would pick that figure up immediately. Obviously, I'll show some comparisons to some other some older Godzillas. Namely, uh, the Playmates. This thing outclasses this imp, this impy, wimpy, low qu play doh quality looking piece of crap. This thing, the original, the higher, the not the higher, not this one. This one is both garbage in every single way possible. This outclass is this one. That's what I'm trying to say. Here is my Godzilla 2019 giant version. We have to lay him down flat because he's too big to fit in the camera. Yeah. This thing. I used to love this one, but now I love this one. This one is outclassed by this one in every way. 
and my actual first Godzilla figure. Uh, the this thing. Now, this thing outclasses this thing, but I still love it. But I still love this thing. Not more than this, but I still love this thing because it's actually unique. I have a toy. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. There, I have... An, go watch my other Haya, Haya video. I'll try to find a way to link it in the description if anyone wants to see it. But that's highly unlikely because I'm new to this YouTube thing. I am new to it, so... Yeah. I'll have to figure it out. But anyway, I will see you. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Godzilla saying bye bye. Godzilla saying bye bye.